anybody in the country imagines what happens when your bank account, your ATM card, your entire financial identity is erased, right? You can imagine if, if it is done to a family, the family will starve to death. If it is done to a business, the business will be crippled, right? This is what has been done to the Congress party one month back. All our bank accounts have been frozen. We can do no campaign work. We cannot support our workers. We cannot support our candidates. Our leaders cannot fly from one part of the country to the other. Forget fly. They can't take a railway uh, train. And this has been done literally two months before the election campaign. Why has it been done? One notice comes from the 90s. Another notice comes uh, from six, seven years ago. Quantum amount, 14 lakh rupees. And punishment, our entire financial identity. Right? What's interesting to me is that there are institutions in this country that are supposed to protect, protect the democratic framework. There are the courts in the country. There's the election commission in the country. Right? And nothing is happening. The election commission has not even said, wait a minute, you have frozen the bank account of the largest, uh, of one of the biggest political parties, largest opposition in the country. And already our ability to fight the election has been damaged. We've already lost a month. As Markanji said, we are unable to get slots for advertising. We are unable to put ads in newspapers. And so what sort of a democracy is this? This is a criminal action on the Congress party. And it's a criminal action done by the Prime Minister and the Home Minister. It's very clear. This type of activity does not happen without them in today's India. And so the idea that India is a democracy, this is a lie. There is no democracy in India today. The idea that India is the world's largest democracy, it's a lie. It's a complete lie. Twenty percent of India votes for us and we are not able to pay two rupees for anything. Right? And it has been orchestrated to cripple us in the elections. Now, even if, even if our bank accounts are unfrozen today, huge amount of damage has been done to Indian democracy. And no court is saying anything. No election commission is saying anything. No institution is saying anything. Media is not saying anything. It's, it's ridiculous. And it's your duty, no, and I'm not just speaking to the media, it is the duty of all the institutions of this country, it is the duty of the people of this country. You are being robbed of your most important asset. You're being robbed of your constitution, you're being robbed of your democratic structure, you're being robbed of the entire architecture and everybody's just quiet.